Child's Play 3 is a very bad film, in my opinion. With the story not making a whole lot of sense, and less mainstays in the series, this film here is poorly received. Not as terrible as the future films would be, but it's still pretty bad. Taking place eight years later after Child's Play 2, the movie opens up when Chucky is once again resurrected when his blood is mixed in with plastic. And his mission now is to make Andy pay. But when he comes across the film, his secret to a young boy named Tyler, then he changes his target to him. Not only that, now you have Andy, who is now 16 years old, who joins military school, and he's played by a totally different actor this time, Justin Whalen. That's their first big mistake in this film, casting him. The reason I say that is because he's blind, he's boring, and he only did two movies before joining this film here. You can't just do two films and join a franchise as big as Charles Play. Apparently, he didn't have enough acting experience, in my opinion, and movie kind of suffers for it. The only interesting thing about this film is Chucky, once again, played by Brad Dory. And other than that, I can't say a lot of two good positives here in the film because they put a romance in this movie. It's completely a waste of time. This movie has hijinks. And same old, same old as the last film is. More like the last two movies, this film here feels even less important simply because there's bad acting all around. You got bad acting from the guy who played Annie to a child actor of Tyler. And basically you have some real corny like punchlines, I guess, in this film. This is not a good movie. I despise it. And I certainly say it's one of the weaker points in this franchise. But it's definitely not the worst movie in this franchise. Just like in the last film, you're not going to care about any of these characters really. Because they're very boring. They have no personality. And you really don't care if they live or die. That's not the worst thing a movie could do. It's made you generally not care for these characters. Sure, that's Andy, but the actor that plays him is very mediocre. And the only highlight here is Chucky. This is a disappointing film. It's very boring. I was bored with it. And it's nothing like what the original offered in terms of pure horror. Th this film here just panders on the mediocre side. And it doesn't offer a whole lot of new things. Chucky's goal is still the same. He wants to inhabit someone else's body and get out of the body that he's in. Other than that, this film doesn't offer anything exciting. And it's certainly a major disappointment. I'm giving this movie a 6 out of 10. Very bad film, in my opinion. If Chucky wasn't really in this movie and you just base it off these characters. This movie would have got a lower ranking. I seriously don't know what happened from the second film to this. But clearly, when you bring in some actors who haven't had much in this movie here, then your film's going to suffer. Not only that, the story suffers a lot. Like I said many times before in my other reviews, lack of assigned characters. I don't really care for these characters in this movie. Sure, there's Andy, but other than that, who else you trying to root for? You gonna try to root for Chucky and he's the, like, the bad guy? Nonetheless, though, this movie ain't outright horrible. There's a bright spot here and there. But other than that, I can't really recommend this film if you never saw it. I say skip it and just stay to the original two. You know, this franchise was something, but... I like to think of this being the downfall of this series. Sure, a lot of people would probably say the next movie after this was, but this right here is what really turns it down that dour spiral. And that's my review of Child's Play 3. Okay, leave your comment section below. Let me know what you think about this film. Do you agree it's terrible? Or are you in the middle where you kind of like it, but it has its flaws? 
you know, this film could have been something more. It's just they ain't capitalized enough on it. Bringing a different actor for Andy was certainly a mistake. Not only that, this film is really is not that different compared to the second film here. And it only gets worse from here as Brian Chucky is my next review. And I have to say, when they turn this series into a self parody, then that's the point where I stop caring. Alright, this is Slum Guy 172 saying, Peace out.